of some things that are going on. Um, first, I want to remind all the men and all the ladies tomorrow evening at 6 o'clock, the Wings Ministry will be having their uh, Wings Fellowship at 6 o'clock in the Fellowship Hall. I believe tomorrow is salad day for the ladies. Is that right? Salad? So they have different kind of salads. Also, Susan Clemens will be speaking to you guys. And what a great testimony that she has. Um, you, you, wanna, you will enjoy that, ladies. So, ladies, you come and enjoy that. Men, I mean, listen, you, you need to listen very closely. This is Father's Day week, okay? How many of you like Father's Day? How many of you men are dads? Dads or granddads? It's Father's Day week. Hey, the ladies get a week, so men ought to get a week, right? All right, listen. We're, we got Father's Day coming up. So tomorrow evening at 6 o'clock, we're not having salads, all right? And of course, we men, we, you know, we're not big salad guys either. Well, um, I am, but, um, but we're going to be having cookout for men and boys, all right? Now, how many of you men like cookout food? All right? You know, I, I see Mason, he likes cookout food, all right? Mason wants him a hot dog or a hamburger, don't you, Mason? Yeah, I guarantee he does. So we're going to be doing that at 6 o'clock. We'll be in the youth room. You don't have to bring anything. You don't have to bring anything. Um, we're going to be cooking out for you guys, and we're going to have a great, wonderful time with that. It's, a, it's, the, it's the dads and boys cookout. So any, any boy or man can come to the cookout tomorrow at 6 o'clock for a great fellowship for our dads. Which leads us to next Sunday is Father's Day. All right, isn't that exciting? It's Father's Day, so next Sunday's Father's Day. From 9 o'clock to 10 o'clock, we're going to be doing donuts for dads, all right? Um, so again, we're going to go ahead and, and sugar you up. If you're diabetic, go ahead and take just a little bit extra insulin beforehand. And, um, let us you know, sugar you up for Father's Day. We're going to have a great time in celebrating our dads next week. Then also, we have... Um, just a, a less than two weeks away on, on June the 21st, we have our Red Cross blood drive. And, um, and, and listen, that is so very important. Um, they need your blood um, because it goes to help people. If you can't do the blood drive here on this Friday, just up at the corner at Pilgrim's Rest Church, they are doing a blood drive for sickle cell. And you do not have to be African American to give blood for sickle cell patients. Um, so again, it makes no difference to us if you give blood there or give blood here. If you qualify to give blood there, I will tell you this, um, for the sickle cell drive, um, and we're partnering with Red Cross in this, they're giving $20 Amazon um, cards online for people that can give blood there. And, and so, um, again, that's going to be up at the corner on Pilgrim's Rest at Pilgrim's Rest Church. But again, um, we certainly, we love doing the blood drives here. It is a ministry, um, and it touches people's lives. Over the last two years, they get this, over the last two years, you have touched over 800 people's lives with blood. Isn't that awesome? That is incredible. That is incredible. Over 800 people you've touched with blood all over this country. And I don't know if you're like me, I follow my blood journey. I know that sounds weird, right? But if you have the Red Cross app, you can follow your blood journey. And I get notified where my blood goes, what hospital it goes to, and, 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 and not, not who it helps, but how many people that my blood may help. And every time, Brother Walter, I give blood, I help three people. Isn't that awesome? They get to help three people. I, you know, it takes me about 30 minutes to be able to help three people. So that's a that's a great thing. And then if if you can help us, we got a, we got some more of these quarter um, um, roles for um, for our team talent and and general assembly thing. We have the rummage sale is going to be July 7th through 9th. If you want to bring stuff for that rummage sale, we're putting that in the youth room. Um, please help us with that, even though it's in several weeks away. Uh, we've got to get the stuff so we can have that, uh, that rummage sale that we're going to do. And, 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 and it's going to be a three-day rummage sale for Teen Talent. Listen, we have lots of prayer needs. Uh, we want to remember Sister Felicia. Felicia, we are praying for you. And we know that God is going to touch you and is touching you already. How many believe for that, that God would touch her? And um, continue to remember Abby Grace, that God would touch that little special five-year-old. And you minister to her. 
And I tell you, the last week we were able to send their family over $500, a family you've never met. You ought to get yourself a hand clap. And it's encouraged that family. And so um, you minister to them. Continue to pray for Brother Harold. And then pray for a little baby named Becca Welch, just born this week, um, that needs an absolute miracle. Um, less than a week old, and she is involved a little in an accident yesterday and just needs a miracle. Becca Welch. And Miss Margie Flood needs a, needs a healing. Steve Pearson is a co-worker of Sister Pinky's husband that they diagnosed him with cancer. And we will remember him in prayer. Sister Lily, we are praying for you. And we're praying against this blockage that everything is going to be. How I many of you know that God can heal? I believe that God can heal. So we want to stand to our feet. I'm glad to be in the house, Lord. I want you, before we pray, I want you to look over at somebody and say, you know what, I'm glad you're here at church with me today. Aren't you glad? Aren't you glad you're at church with somebody? God, we love you today and we thank you, Lord, for the opportunity to come in and worship you, dear God, and honor you and magnify you, dear Lord. God, we thank you for your blessings on us, dear God. Lord, you bless us more than any of us deserve, dear God, and we thank you for those great, wonderful blessings. God, today, as we begin this service, dear God, we want to give you honor and praise. We want to ask you, dear God, to touch everyone and pour out your spirit, dear God, on these precious folks and those watching online. God, we pray in the name of Jesus, dear God, for healing and miracles for Sister Felicia. God, we pray, dear God, you place your hand upon her. For Sister Lily, dear God, that you would give her healing, dear God, and a good, a good report. Lord, for little Abby Grace, dear God, heal that child of this cancer, dear God. For Becca Welch, dear God, Lord, we pray for complete recovery. For Brother Harold, dear God, we thank you, dear God, that, that you're able to touch him and minister to him. For Miss Margie, dear God, Lord, for Steve Pearson, dear God, and Lord, we just thank you for your goodness. In Jesus' name, before we start with worship here, I got two things. One, take your phone, go to the church Facebook page and share the service. You'll touch somebody, you'll minister to them. And then, isn't it good to have Brother Billy West? Boy, I'll tell you what, he is like a Timex watch. Um, they may cut his heart open and, and did that surgery, but he is, he, he, well, Brother Billy, you look good. You look like you could walk two miles today. Let's worship the Lord.
that He is good to us. He is wonderful to us. You know, before we worship in our giving and tithes and offering, I, I, I want to mention to you about Billy Walls. Billy, Brother Billy Walls is at the, has moved to Stonebridge. And, um, and this is hard on him. It's very hard on him. And I want you to remember him in prayer. But, but Brother Billy, it's, it's okay for people to go see him there, right? It will bless him. It's just five minutes from the church. And if you get a chance to go see him, I believe he's in 304. Um, and you, you go, go see him. It will encourage him and bless him. Um, and, and that you can pray over him. And, you know, it means a lot. Um, he's a fine man. And we want to encourage him and, and pray that, you know, he can leave from there and come to church. But he needs strength. And, you know, the Bible says for us to strengthen our brothers. So will you help strengthen him? And will you keep him in your prayers? And I know this is not only hard on him, it's hard on, on their whole family. And it's a challenge, you know, because things are changing. But I know God's going to touch him. I know that God's going to minister to him. But isn't it wonderful that we get to worship God? You know, we just sing about how good God is. Do you really believe God's good? I, I believe he's good, Brother Walter. And so for me to be able to bring my gifts to him, I'm not just giving a tithe and an offering. I'm giving a tithe and offering to somebody who's been so good to me. And I get to obey him in it, yes. But I get to do it because he's good to me. And I thank God for every opportunity to be able to give. I thank God for the opportunity to be able to take my time to worship him and tithe and offer. So this morning as we get ready to do that, I want you to pray, you know what, God? I'm giving this to you because you're good. You're good all the time. Even if things aren't always good in my life, you're still good. And I know that he is. Don't you believe that? I absolutely believe that. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the opportunity to come and bring our tithe and offerings to you, to worship you, dear God, and to bless you. God, I know, dear Lord, that you're going to bless. Dear God, in fact, I believe that people are going to see your goodness in their lives as they honor you and obey you with this. God, show them your goodness in Jesus' name. Amen. Worship the Lord with your gifts this morning.
I had no idea that they would be singing the, these songs that they sang this morning, and they all speak of what I'm going to be sharing with you. Listen to me. I don't know how many of you have some impossible situations going on in your life, some immovable things. But today I believe that God is going to do some impossible things. That He will begin clearing some ground impossible. How many of you believe that God still does that? That God can do some things that are impossible to us. That, that are, and, 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 and in this sense today, what God laid on my heart, it's dealing with people in our lives that we need some immovable, impossible situations. But I come to tell you today, I will speak to this, that God's going to do it, but don't you give up. Don't you give up on God. And don't you give up on that person. Right now, before I get into the Word, just lift up your hands and say to God, God, I believe. No, no, don't really mean it. Say, God, I believe. You can do it. You can take care of it. It's out of my hands. It's in yours. In Jesus' name. Give these guys a hand clap. Such an amazing, amazing job. You can be seated. We're going to get into the Word in just a moment. I want to tell you, there are, some of you may have already seen before service, after service, you go look at it. There's a bunch of jewelry in the foyer, and that's for these teens going to Teen Talent. And, and, and Bible quiz. And, and so if you want to look at that, man, this would be a perfect opportunity for you to, 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 to buy your wife a